Welcome back to Computex 2017, and I'm here at the QNAP booth. And before you say, I know, I know, uh, NASes and whatnot, but this is a NAS with a Ryzen CPU in it. So let's take a look, guys. 2017's Computex coverage for tech. Yes, City was brought to you by MSI and Corsair. And for a limited time only, you can get a free copy of Ghost Recon's Wildlands Deluxe Edition with any purchase of an MSI product. Click the link in the description below to find out more. So here we are at the QNAP booth, 8-bay NAS solution with a Ryzen CPU. Ryzen CPU, why did we put a Ryzen CPU in this? We have an existing AMD line of models already for our AMD fans in, in Australia and New Zealand. And um, today we are bringing the new Ryzen Octa-Core into the family as well. So the performance and pricing would be better, even better than the previous generations. Well, exactly right, because there's a lot of AMD loyal fans out there and especially this time with Ryzen, we've got better price yeah. performance and we've got, of course, performance per watt included. So why not include it in a NAS solution? So I'm absolutely loving the fact that there's a Ryzen CPU in these NAS solutions. Now, what else is special about this model? Um, I would say it's actually not just an 8 by so if you look at here, we have a 3.5 inch, but at the same time we have four uh, 2.5 inch SSD. And then in this little drawer, there are actually four M.2 SSD slots available for use. Wow, so you got a lot of expansion and you can run essentially eight drives and yeah. two dri uh, four drives at the yeah. same time. So you could run 12 drives in total. In total, yeah. And the best part is that we have actually an auto tiering feature. So whatever data you're using every day, we'll be pushing to SSDs for caching and uh, those of our archiver will be pushed into the 3.5 inch hard drives. And do we also get audio and video out like we do on the TS series? Uh, with um, audio, uh, since it's an enterprise, more like a uh, higher level SMB enterprise models, so this one does not have an HDMI port, but audio is available. So now also with this NAS, we have USB 3.1 built in, and also with the PCI expansion and the Ethernet, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, these NAS comes with three PCI 3.0 expansion slots and two 10 gig ports built in. Well, so that is a big daddy, not just with the Ryzen CPU, but also with the expandability. And now also, what are we looking at in terms of pricing and availability? Um, it's going to be available uh, soon in Q3 this year, and pricing is around 2000 ish Now I'm joined in a different kind of product. This is an add-in PCIe expansion slot. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about what this is and what it features? So one of the key features that we would like to push this year is actually the expandability of just a single unit of NAS. So with uh, QM2 add-on card, it gives you the flexibility of adding um, M.2 SSD for caching or uh, 10 gig ports for the speed. Oh, wow, so we're getting 10 gigabytes per second on this board added in yep. with this uh, add-in slot card. Exactly. And how, what are we looking at in terms of pricing and availability with this expansion slot? It's around $200. So there we go, guys. $200 and you can get multiple of these if you wish, yeah? Yes. So here we are now with the new lineup of Thunderbolt 3 NAS solutions. Can you tell us a little bit more about the TVS-1282 and the TS-453? Uh, we have, at QNAP has actually the world's first Thunderbolt NAS. So before we have Thunderbolt 2, and now we're um, slowly progressing into Thunderbolt 3. Uh, and with this one is the same design concept as the Ryzen one. So it's got auto tiering feature, but at the same time, four Thunderbolt 3 ports for direct editing. Oh, wow, that's impressive. OK, so now we've got Thunderbolt added in on this NAS for those people who want those extra speeds and features and functionality. That's looking really good. Do we have any pricing and availability on this model? It's actually available already in Australia, so um, around $2,500. So here with the TS-453, the main focus, right, is that we usually save Thunderbolt for the more expensive lineup, the big boys with the eight bays and whatnot, but this time we've got a smaller solution that's ready for the home users, and it features Thunderbolt, right? Yes, that's right. So we are catering more to our home users right now who are looking to have Thunderbolt features. Wow, and that looks very impressive. So it's pretty similar to the one that I reviewed on the channel with the options, the applications, the HDMI out, and it's also got four bays and now Thunderbolt and an OLED readout, yes? Yes, it's a pretty good add-on, I would say, feature. Yeah. And so what are we looking at in terms of pricing and availability? It's going to be available soon in Q3 this year, and price-wise it's around 500 to 600 
So now here behind me, I am looking at the QIoT software. Is this something new coming out from QNAP? And what is it and what does it feature for the home user? So I see most of the QNAP users will know we have a very big, large uh, application center that's available inside the QTS. And this is something new for our users who would like to try hands-on with the SDK and uh, sensors. Oh wow, so basically if you are into programming and you've got the right sensors and you want to program how those sensors work and what they can do for, like for instance you start automatically recording or if something triggers, then you can do that with this software, right? Yes, that's right. So we provide a ROS engine and uh, the programming part would be visualized and we provide a dashboard afterwards for whatever data you accumulate. And Okay, so basically this software is for Wendell. Uh, from level one text, yeah. yeah exactly. Right, well, I'll, I'll uh, point it on to him. <laughs> and basically, what can we expect for uh, in terms of availability of this software? So is it included with all your products or only certain products? Uh, it's available for x86, anything above 4 gig. And it will be available by the end of Q3 this year. So there we go, guys. Thanks for your time. Cheers. So now I'm joined here by Miguel from XSplit. How are you doing, man? Hey, what's up, Brian? Yeah, uh, not much. Just a... Uh, Looking at the QNAP booth and loving it. So we've got the XSplit uh, application being integrated into the QNAP NAS, yes? Yes. Uh, so basically what we've done is we've uh, introduced a built-in native plugin for the QNAP DJ2 Live. So DJ2 Live is QNAP's new addition to their app center for their NAS devices. Uh, it basically creates a personal live streaming server inside your home or wherever, if it's a big corporate server, then great. Uh, what you can do with it is you can broadcast uh, using XSplit or any other broadcasting software, but I prefer XSplit, obviously. Um, you can broadcast to it, and then people can watch it from the browser uh, by logging into the QNAS device. Uh, another cool part here is you can broadcast in full quality, uh, like recording quality, to the QNAP. It gets saved in the QNAP, and then you can ask it to transcode that record or that broadcast for uh, viewing in Twitch and YouTube and Facebook. Okay, so, you can, so you can essentially live transcode uh, higher quality and sort of get that downscaled quality up in 1080p sort of thing. So if you want to do that, and then of course you've got the original recording in 4K if you want to use that. So it does save time. It does save uh, you know people time mainly in that they can get this done with the XSplit software on the QNAP NAS. However, I will say that I do like XSplit. I personally use it. I tried OBS, man. I, I just had headaches. It didn't work on my computer properly, so I just uninstalled and installed XSplit. Thanks, so. All right. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> and there we go, guys. We are finishing up at the QNAP booth. Thank you for watching and tuning in, and thanks, Bianca, for taking yeah. your time. And I'll, and I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Bye. So here we are, guys. We are at the QNAP booth, 8Bay NAS Solution, and this time it has a Ryzen CPU. And now I'm joined by Bianca. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, very good. Are you enjoying Computex? Very much. Okay, let's get back to this router. I mean, this NAS, sorry. NAS. I, I messed up that time. Okay.